Hi nurses, for today we are going to have another nursing drug study and we are going to discuss ACE inhibitors. So if you want to know more about that, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create nursing educational content to help nursing students with their studies. If that's something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational content two to three times in a week. Don't miss it. I subscribe now. Hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends because that would really help me know they like to see more content like this. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Hi, nurse says for today we are going to have another nursing drug study because we are going to study ACE inhibitors. Yes, this is another nursing pharmacology discussion and I'm going to give you everything that you need to know about ACE inhibitors. Now, if you haven't watched the other nursing drug study videos I created, I'll be putting it here and check out the other playlists I created under the concept of nursing, okay? Now, in order for me to do that, I will switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, hi everyone. Welcome to our formal discussion ng iyong ACE inhibitors. This is your nursing pharmacology. If you haven't watched the other nursing um, drug study I did on this channel, I'll be putting it on the icon button or simply click the description box, okay? Check that out and also the other nursing contents I did. But for today, we're going to have a thorough drug study about your ACE inhibitors, which we all know act as your antihypertensive medications all right let's proceed let me share to you our objectives for today we're going to discuss about classification generic and brand name route and dose mechanism of action indications contraindications adverse effects and of course this is not going to be a nursing drug study if we're not going to include nursing responsibilities all right let's begin classification generic name brand name and route of administration including your dose now this is very straightforward you guys class angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors or yung ating ace inhibitors generic names menisipril capterpil enalapril quinapril all right what are the brand names lotensin capotin vasotec iv and acupril in terms of route you guys this is actually given orally in a tablet form ano ang mga available dose mo meron kang 2.5 milligrams 5 milligrams 10 milligrams 20 milligrams 30 milligrams and the highest dose is 40 milligrams. Now, for acute myocardial infarction, here's the dosing. 5 milligrams per orm within 24 hours of onset of symptoms of acute MI. Then, 5 milligrams after 24 hours, 10 milligrams after 48 hours, and 10 milligrams per day for 6 weeks. Now, in treatment of hypertension. Now, for patients who is not taking diuretic and is diagnosed with hypertension, 10 milligrams per orm per day initially. Usual range is 20 to 40 milligrams per day as single daily dose. For heart failure in a man, 5 milligrams per orm per day initially. Increased by less than 10 milligrams, no more frequent than 2 weeks intervals to 20 to 40 milligrams per orm per day. Usually effective dosage range is 5 to 40 milligrams per orm per day sa ating Zestril, 5 to 20 milligrams per orm per day sa ating Prinivil. Now for diabetic patients off-label po ah, initial dose natin is 5 milligrams per orm per day with a diuretic. Now, this may gradually increase dose according to blood pressure response. Dosage range is 20 to 40 milligrams per day. Now, mechanism of action. By preventing the production of angiotensin 2, which is a potent vasoconstrictor and a stimulator of aldosterone release, blood pressure is decreased with resultant loss of serum potassium and fluid, but with a slight increase in serum potassium. Indications ng iyong uh, ACE inhibitors, you guys. Primarily indicated for hypertension and can be used alone or in combination with other drugs. Aside from its indication in treating hypertension, it is also combined with diuretics and digoxin in the treatment of heart failure and left ventricular dysfunction. The resultant effect is decrease in peripheral resistance and blood volume leading to decreased cardiac workload. It is also approved for treatment of diabetic nephropathy in which the renal artery is being damaged by diabetes. It is thought 
that decrease in stimulation of angiotensin receptors in the kidney will slow down the damage in the renal artery. For children, safety and efficacy of ACE inhibitors has not been established in this age group. Adults, ACE inhibitors are not allowed during pregnancy. Older adults are more susceptible to drug toxicity because of the underlying conditions that would interfere with metabolism and excretion of the drug. Renal and hepatic function should always be monitored. What are the contraindications of your ACE inhibitors, you guys? Allergy to ACE inhibitors. Prevent severe hypersensitivity reactions. Renal impairment. Decrease renal blood flow. Effect of these drugs can exacerbate renal impairments. Tandaan mo kasi ini-excrete ito through urine heart failure changes in hemodynamics caused by these drugs can exacerbate heart failure hyponatremia and hypovolemia can be exacerbated by the therapeutic effects of the drug pregnancy and lactation can cause potential adverse effects to the fetus and can decrease milk production pregnant women are advised to use barrier type of contraceptives while taking this drug so nurses what are the adverse effects of this medication to your patient now gi now when you talk about your gi you have there your irritations ulcer constipation, liver injury. Sa GU naman, genitourinary, meron ka dyang renal insufficiency, renal failure, and proteinuria. Sa iyong cardiovascular, meron kang reflex tachycardia, chest pain, heart failure, cardiac arrhythmias. Sa iyong ENT, ears, eyes, and nose, and throat. Ano to? You can expect rash, alopecia, dermatitis, photosensitivity. Captopril is associated with sometimes fatal pancytopenia, cough, and GI distress. Ano yung pancytopenia, you guys? This is a condition that occurs when a person has low count for all three types of blood cells. Ano yung mga blood cells mo? RBC, WBC, at ang yung platelet. Pancytopenia is usually due to a problem with the bone marrow that produces the blood cells. However, there can be several different underlying causes. Now, what are the nursing responsibilities when administering ACE inhibitors? Now, there are important things that a nurse should include in conducting assessment, history taking, and examination. Ano ano to? Assess for the mentioned contraindication to this drug. Ano yon? Renal impairment, kung merong hyponatremia yung pasyente, hypovolemia, etc. This is to prevent the potential adverse effects. Obtain baseline status of weight, vital signs, overall skin condition, and laboratory tests like renal and hepatic function tests, serum electrolyte, and complete blood count with differential to assess patients, with differential to assess patients' response to therapy. Ano naman yung mga nursing interventions mo? Now, these are the vital nursing interventions that in patients who are taking ACE inhibitors. Now, you need to educate the patient on importance of healthy lifestyle choices, which include regular exercise, weight loss, smoking cessation, and low-sodium diet to maximize the effect of antihypertensive therapy. Administer drug on empty stomach one hour before or two hours after meal to ensure optimum drug absorption. Monitor renal and hepatic function tests to alert doctor for possible development of renal and or hepatic failure as well as signal need to reduce drug dose. Monitor for presence of manifestations that signal decrease in fluid volume. Example nito yung yung diarrhea kasi nga meron siyang adverse effects sa yung GI. So, monitor mo yung kung may diarrhea, may vomiting, and dehydration ng yung pasyente to prevent exacerbation of hypotensive effect of drug. Educate the patient and family members about drugs effect to the body and manifestations that would need reporting to enhance patient knowledge on drugs therapy and promote adherence you guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you learned something please like share and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong support that we've been really growing and i really really want to grab this opportunity to thank everybody and that includes you maraming maraming salamat po ipamalita mo na nga help me out spread the news about my channel kasi ito ang pinakamasaya at pinakabagong at pinakalibre ang review center sa balay on YouTube. You guys stay safe. I'll see you again next time. Thank you so much you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Have me grow my channel. You're ready here. You might as well subscribe. Hashtag Team Kuta. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Let me know what you guys think. You put them down in the comment section below. Also don't forget to check out the other playlists I created for you. I'll be putting the links on the description box or simply click the second button right here. Let's connect. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gavi. I'll see you again.